Hello and welcome, it's Jennifer here at JP Smith and today we're actually going to be um, learning how to cover plastic with things. The lovely people at Smart Cratch have asked me to show you all how I decorate my crutches. I have a pair of these, I have a couple of pairs of these actually. And um, they come looking a little bit manly and a little bit motorbikey, and not everybody loves that, but they are the most fabulous, fabulous crutches. So for those of you who don't have anything to do with crutches, this is still worth watching, I think, because you can apply the same principles to anything else plastic that you would like to cover, like a nice little box or a container or a jar. Um, and so um, this applies to you as well. So enjoy. You're going to need your smart crutch or whatever it is that you're going to be covering. You need to join the Facebook group, JP Smith Art, um, where you will find the free patterns. And then you will need um, glue. It doesn't really matter what kind of glue you use. Um, I've got a wood glue here, which is really nice and thick. I really enjoy working with that, but you really want to get some kind of a glue that says that it will stitch a plastic. Um, okay, I've said you need your free pattern. You need sewing scissors, as in fabric scissors, because they're different to paper scissors. You need paper scissors. You need a pencil or something to trace your pattern with. And of course, you need your fabric that you're going to um, cover your crutch with. Okay, so step number one is you'll have printed your um, pattern. And they come in four different pieces. A, B, C, and D. And the reason for that is this part of the crutch is covered in a sticker. You can peel it off and use it as a pattern, but the problem with that is uh, there's a few problems. One is when you peel it off, it stretches out of proportion, so it's not going to be the right size. Second of all, this is the right size, so you'll need to put it onto the the good face of your fabric or paper, whatever you're um, using, and you'll get goop and glue on the good side. You can't put this on the back. And also it curls up and it rolls. So at a very, very basic level, you may want to remove the sticker and replace it with some fabric here. You may, you can even put the, the fabric over it. Today we're gonna to be using fabric. Next time we'll use paper. I'm going to go through a whole bunch of options. Um, with you in different videos, but today we're just talking about the basic. So whichever way you, whether you use your crutch in your left hand or your right hand, this is the right and this is the left because this is always the front. So the right side is side A. And so pattern A covers this area exactly. So still watch the rest of the video if you don't want to cover it any more than that because it'll be exactly the same um, procedure till you get to here. So if that's all you want to cover, then pattern A will do the job for this side. Pattern B keeps on going. Pattern C is the top on the other side and pattern D is for the bottom half. So you have all those options. You may, if you use your crutch on the right side, and this is the visible side because it's the outside and your right hand, you may only want to do that. You may want to do that and that. So you have all the options from those four pieces of patterns. So I'm going to put the crutch aside for a minute and talk about a little bit more about the pattern. The reason it comes in four, each side comes in two pieces is first of all that you have the two options, but second of all, once you stick it together, it doesn't actually fit on a universal size paper. Whether you're American or the rest of the world uses A4, it doesn't fit onto either. So it needed to fit on something that no matter where you are and what standard paper is in your country, um, it works. So you'll note that the A, which I have cut out on this one, um, and I, I didn't cut it along that line because um, when I overlap this, you can cut it there and you can stick the tabs on and it'll still work. I've chosen just to leave that out for a second. And um, I am now going to glue on there and there and all the way to there. And There we go. 
you now have your pattern. So if you are, again, if you only wanted A, then just cut out the A. If you want both, cut them out and join them together. If you don't want to use glue, you can use sticky tape. I've stuck C and D together with sticky tape just so that you can see an alternative. So now I have these. I have my fabric. I love this fabric because it's a zebra stripe, of course, but also I think the color matches the purple of the crutch really, really well. But I'm actually going to use a turquoise to show you the rest of how to cover it, just so that you can see the contrast. But I'll just try and get it into these corners. Now you can either pin your pattern um, and then cut it out directly from there, but I, like, I quite like to draw. This part here, you can either go around, and I'll show you in a minute, or you can go this way around. And I'll show you why in a minute, and then you can decide when you're cutting yours out exactly what you want it to do. There we have our little shape. Then we're gonna get our crutch. And I've already peeled off the sticker. You can just glue it straight over the sticker, but just to give you an idea of where we're going, it's going to look like this. And if we were going to only do part a of the puzzle, you would fill it like, just trying to hide the bottom half. This would go in here, and that could be plenty for you. You might decide that's all you want. Um, replacing the sticker with a different shape, a different design, and it would stick on like that. But we've chosen to cut further. And this piece, where the pattern went around, I'll show you actually the pattern, goes around like that, so A comes to there. This goes around the hole, so we would be filling it like that, and that would stay the same. But for now, I have not cut out this ring here. I've left it together and we'll fiddle with it a bit when we get there so that you can just have the two options. When we turn it over, I will cut out the circle and so you can see it like that. Now, this really is very, very simple. There are a few tricks. One of them is too much glue is not a good thing because it will seep through the fabric um, and going over the edges isn't ideal either. So we really wanna get our glue sort of like that. This is quite a thick glue which I like working with but it also means that we have to work a little bit fast which not everybody likes. Um, so I'm going to do, I won't be able to cover this whole thing without it starting to dry so I'm going to make sure I just cover this piece and to here. to line it up not just there and there but here because I really you can be out by a couple of millimeters and really it doesn't look great and the nice thing about fabric is you can stretch it a little bit if you want to and you can pull it out pull it to the edge it's got quite a bit of give in it and I think you can see that I'm really trying to get it in to the edge here and this dries really quite quickly. I've got a little bit of glue there and I can see it coming through. It's not the end of the world and it'll dry clear but um, you really don't want to land up with a whole lot of 
blue being quite goopy over this. I really want that to go in there. Pushing out all creases. There we go. And air bubbles. You just want it to be nice and smooth. I'm now going to do, now the sticker went about there. You can see where the edge of the sticker was. There's not much point in going all the way in there because the fabric isn't going to go all the way in there. So if this was a plastic jar or a container, which I'm afraid I don't have patterns for, um, but if there's somebody that really likes um, a very common container size, they're welcome to send it to me and I'll make a pattern and upload that as well. So this is fitting, I can feel that this is already quite dry. I need to be a little bit careful. So we've glued it to there. If that was your A, you'd only done it to there. I don't know how to sort of hide that, but that would be your design. But we are going further. So the places to stick this, there's nothing's going to stick in there. There's no point in wasting glue, but you've got a lot in here and you're going to come down there and you're going to need to put quite a bit like this along the edges. Where it is going to stick. Now make sure that if you need to change the settings on your crutch, you'll need to take this out before you stick and leave appropriate holes. But this is just for me and I know my setting. And so I get to just cover this completely. It's very tight, it's not going anywhere. The last crutch I decorated two years ago, it's still as stuck today as it was then. And one thing about these, but one of the many things about these smart crutches is they are very, very robust and they just don't come apart. Which is one of the many, many things that I love about them. Um, okay, let me start with this side. I'm basically pushing it down till I can feel that it's there and this is going to go like that. I'm just trying to make sure it touches all those edges that have been glued. Okay, now this is where the round bit comes in. I can feel the end of the round there. So this is gonna be glued down like that. Snugly, snugly, snugly fitting in there. I hope you can see it really well. Snugly, snugly, and because I want to keep, have this ring covered, but not entirely, I am going to fold it from that point to that point. So I'm going to give it a little bit of glue where I'm folding it. And it's going to go over that. So I've pulled it off there.
fantastic. Now, while that dries, I'm going to cut out the other side, which is C and D. So here's the other side. I'm going to do it the same way we did the other side. And I'm going to start up here. If you can see that. Choosing a pattern with a bit of a random design on it means that that's really blended in quite nicely. You don't see the underneath, but um, it's blended in quite nicely, I think. That white glue there will all dry clear. The edges are all down fast. And on one side we have that. And the other side we have that. That is the very, very basics of covering your plastic smart crutch in fabric. And I look forward to over the next six months bringing you some really fun, unusual ideas. I'm going to be covering in paper mache. I'm going to be covering in one of my favorite books. Um, we're going to add glam and glitter and edges and all sorts of things. So thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to um, follow, subscribe, you know all the drill the blog is there the and the free patterns of course are on the facebook group so thanks for joining me bye